Mother. Fucker. Hey y'all, I'm uh, here to introduce the video. It's Dustin Steckler once again. Um, here to introduce uh, a movie that would definitely take a chunk of the zombie genre. <laughs> it's uh, Zombie, or Zombie 2, or Zombie Flesh Eaters. Either way, uh, Bill's going to review it. I'm just doing the intro. Hey guys, I know, I know, it's been a long time. Well, my apologies. I appreciate you guys so much for waiting on me, and I'm very happy that you've stayed subscribed. I'm making more cartoons too, so keep your eyes peeled for them. Also, you may have noticed that I've moved. Christina Aguilera in the background. Not my place, staying with a friend. And I have a beard now, a big one. So today on Rotting Flesh, being how it's zombie month, we will take a look at a movie from 1979 directed by Lucio Falci, that classic being Zombie. Or Zombie 2, or Zombie Flesh Eaters, or Zombi. It's kind of considered the Italian sequel to Dawn of the Dead. I guess it's unofficial. It's also one of the band Video Nosties. So we get this kick-ass opening music. with a boat floating in the middle of the ocean and no one seems to be on this boat. My partner tells me what must be it. That must be it, Bill. Okay. Because I'm Bill. See what I did there? The police aboard the ship to find out the people who own this boat made a complete mess. I mean, really. This isn't a zombie movie. It's reality television. It's hoarders. Just kidding, there is a zombie on this boat. And it's really scary. That was surprisingly effective makeup, wasn't it? Let's see that again in slow motion. That was Gordon. A news reporter named Peter is sent to investigate the boat. On the boat, we meet a girl named Anne who is being questioned by police about her father because he owns this boat. There's a lot to do with this boat. Tell me a little more about this boat, man. She tells the Porksters that her father is on a Caribbean island doing science stuff. Eventually, Peter and Anne meet. And if you put P to the beginning of Anne, their names together would be Peter Pan. Dr. Dave is Anne's dad. He and his wife are on an island researching zombie reanimation jazz. Of course, we get the classic Italian bitch slap. Wouldn't be a movie for Italy without it. They're very passionate, passionate people. We get a wicked scene where a zombie fights a shark, but I'm not going to show that. By the Blu-ray, not the DVD. We also get a pretty iconic eye-gouging scene. Basically, Peter and Anne, along with some other characters, end up going to the island to find Anne's father. The group eventually, of course, finds themselves surrounded by zombies, and they have to fight their way out in an epic battle. The final couple frames in this movie are just beautiful, too. I really don't want to say too much more. Now, first off, I gotta say that the direction was good here. 
I think I've seen better directed movies, but there's nothing wrong with this. It's kind of a sleazy and dirty little movie, so it fits that it shouldn't be entirely pleasant to look at. It definitely fits the Fulci style, and as a zombie movie, it works really well. So much I've heard it be called the ultimate zombie film, which I can honestly say rings true. The sets were all amazing, as was the lighting, and I'd have to say that the atmosphere in this movie was pretty much like exactly what it needed to be. This movie just screams atmosphere, which is not unlike Fulci to do, along with like a million other fucking Italian horror masters. <laughs> The rating for this is pretty straightforward, but it tells a great kind of Tales from the Crip-esque zombie story with a touch of Mad Scientist. The dialogue was just typical for the time. The acting in Zombie was decent enough. This movie doesn't call for great acting, but the entire cast did a pretty good job for what they had to work with. The characters themselves are more or less memorable. And I think the best thing in this movie, and the true highlight, is of course the zombies. And there are some amazing, hauntingly beautiful moments of zombie carnage, man. And they just stick in your brain forever. So as for effects, I want to say that the gore was top-notch. Very typical for a Fulci movie, by the way. But here's where I want to talk about the Fulci zombie. Fulci zombies are zombies of their own. They have a certain look which many people have tried to copy but never really get quite right. They're also known for moving really slow. And they're dead rising from the fucking grave. That's right, it has nothing to do with the fucking rage virus. The closest thing I've seen to a Fulci zombie is probably in that movie that came back a while back called The Dead. And that movie, well, it was pretty boring and stupid if you ask me. The music in this is like exactly what every Italian movie pretty much had at this time, and the 80s in general. I love the music from this era. It was simple, but it sounded great. Can I recommend Zombie? That's an undeniable yes. This is probably my third favorite zombie film of all time. I have a DVD and a Blu-ray. It's loaded to the teeth with features, and the packaging is visually stimulating. I give Zombie 10 out of 10. I love it. I love it. Give me more. It's just that good. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. That Magic Production.